Right, let's just click the button and see what happens here. Does this, does this, let's see, start and stream health. Receiving your content, your audience will see it in a moment. Get ready. I, 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 just, you are live. The internet can totally see you now. There you go. Who would have thought? I, I just, this is just, see doing these things, it just scares the living bejesus out of me. It really does. Um, right, if you're just joining, uh, with any luck, uh, I, I, th this will work. People are watching and people can hear me. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see how this goes. Uh, if you've just joined, uh, this is, and yes, we have people coming in now saying they can hear me. Hopefully the video is clear and you can, the, the auto translate for the Scottish is working or the Scotch, as many people like to say. Um... For the next few minutes, what I'll do is I'll just say good morning to people because, yes, it's it's 22 minutes past 11 in the shed, which is GMT plus whatever. Uh, there we go. Oh, there is. There's lots of people. Well, what do you know? There's people up at this time of the day. Who have we got? We've got Dev. Uh, um, loud and clear, says Rob. Right. Uh, can I scroll up and down chat? I <laughs> don't know if I can. I never do these. That's why I let. That's why Dean does these things, and I just join in because I detest doing YouTube live streams. So I've got Dominic, Kismaz, Jim, Glebe, Jeffrey, Sputz, Forty, Francis, Jim, all Jim. I hope you're doing well, and they've let you out the hospital. Uh, Nick, Jordan, Lewis, Taylor, uh, Spitzy, David Payne, Kevin Watts, Mister Fisher, um, Dominic. Jose, I'm going with that. Dingo, hi Phil. Um, Lewis Taylor's lying in the pit, feeling awful. So this is better than four walls, right? That, that's just a quick one. What I'm, this is just to save me recording. Uh, I have toys, lots of toys here from Paris, and I have to be able to show them off to you and let you see some of the new things that have come out. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sum up Paris. Uh, so Vape Expo 2018. Um, I flew out on Friday afternoon and flew into Charles de Gaulle and the actual uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. the expo and the hotel is all in the Charles de Gaulle area. They moved it. Um, last year, I think the previous years, we were actually in Paris. So, which was quite good. It was like a, a lovely art deco building type thing. And um, you could come out of the expo and you could wander about the streets. Uh, it, you felt like you were in Paris. Um, unfortunately, this one was not like that. Uh, it was more like if you've been to, say, um, in all fairness, like Stuttgart and, say, uh, Birmingham, uh, you know, you are actually out with the centre of the, you know, the city, the town, whatever you want, and you're kind of like in this cocoon, this bubble, and if you want to get in, enjoy, say, Birmingham or Stuttgart, then, yeah, you have to travel. It was a bit of a, a niggle for me, because I really enjoyed being in Paris last year, but it didn't take away from the vape event itself. It didn't take away from the event itself. Um, and much like uh, the NEC and Stuttgart and whatnot, your hotels were, it was an Uber ride. Uh, you know, it was an Uber ride away from the event. But the event was, it was massive. It was, it, it was big. This was a big event. Um, and I'll go, there's, there's uh, Stephen, sorry, just picking up and chat here. Stephen, Chris, buongiorno. Uh, Andy Mick, a balm pot. It's balm pot, mate. It's balm pot. Uh, Sinistral, Mr. McDermott, don't, don't start. <laughs> don't start. Um, uh, and Jose says, I spent the weekend at the Oberhausen Vape Fair, which was only so so. Right, here we go. Uh, Going back to the event itself, uh, I just, I'm just going to click on this and hopefully this will work. If I give this a bash, we'll see. 
Right, the event itself started on the Saturday. On the Saturday, it was business to customers. So it was the punters, it was the, the, the Joe blogs, it was the people that wanted to come in and see everything. Um, and it was busy. Now, this is much the same as a couple of other events I've been to. Um, you go one year, it's a small event, as in it's a smaller building, and it's jam-packed, you can't move, um, but it has a certain atmosphere and a certain vibe. Uh, so what they do is they move to a bigger event, you've got more walkways, more room to get around, but it feels quieter. And that's kind of what happened in Paris as well, and I saw the same thing in Birmingham and, and Stuttgart as well. Uh, it wasn't dead, it wasn't quiet, it was just a much bigger place with so much more room to walk about. So the Saturday and the Sunday, were they were very good, but the Sunday was B2B, so that was business to business. It was also on on the Monday, which was also business to business, and it was slightly quieter on the Monday, which was to be expected, being fair. Uh, but the Saturday and the Sunday were good. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. And and I'm going to say one thing. Um, going to these events, it's changed for me, as as a lot of you know that I, I kind of struggle at these events um, for various reasons. Uh, but more and more, the more I get out and the more I get to these things, the more it is is about seeing people. And and, and speaking about people, uh, I mean, you've got idiots like this, which just, they really do just make it worthwhile. Uh, I, I caught up with a lot of people that obviously I've not seen for ages or I've not seen since the last event I went to. And <laughs> it's just, they're nuts. Um... I spent a lot of time in the company with um, Eastmoke Guru, Vasily and Rula, uh, the Steam Turners guys, our tuners guys, and the Croatians, the Serbs, um, just catching up with old folk. There's Renato, I don't know what he was doing there. Um, that was the Atmazoo guys who I met for the first time in six and a half years. And they were the first guys that actually gave me something to review. Um, there's young Vinny, who arrived, I think he arrived on the Sunday. Was it the Sunday or late Saturday he arrived? But let's see, it's just, for me, these things are more and more about social events. Um, I just love catching up with the people. That's that's the best thing about these. Uh, Yes, I know you need to go and see all the toys, you need to go to the Modders Gallery and all this kind of stuff, but actually chatting with people, catching up with friends should be the main thing. It's the main thing for me. It's the main thing for me. Um, I, Dan the Man Vapes, dude, how tall are you? I am only six foot two. I'm <laughs> just six foot two. Uh, that first picture... Uh, that was Sasha, who from Van and Dell, and uh, Jura from Infamous uh, Liquids, who was down low. I was actually sitting on a stool because um, with Sasha, he's he's a mountain, he's a bear, yeah, he's a bear of a man. So we just thought it'd be funny for me to sit in a stool, stand in a stool. Um, what I will do is I'll put a quick little video up that you can sit and watch to your heart's content if you want. Uh, and it's basically me doing a walk round and showing off some of the gear that I came across. It's not, I didn't photograph everything, I didn't video everything. I'm not like, like Vinny. If you've ever watched uh, Vinny, um, he's a mad vlogger and, and you see like Dean and the other vlog, uh, reviewers, they, they've, they know how to vlog. I don't. I really don't. I, I'm not good at it. Not really that interested in being good at it. But, um, yeah, I do feel a bit of a responsibility to show you some of the things that uh, I saw when I was at the event. You are, if you're on Facebook, you can go along to Todd's Reviews Facebook page and uh, you'll see a rake of photos there if you want to go and have a look. But uh, what I'll try and do here now 
I'll try is uh, is just show you a quick little video. So uh, hopefully this works. Here you go. There you go. That's it. That's all you're getting. <laughs> Am I still alive? <laughs> um, right. That was just a snippet of what was there. Um, there, there was. 
the thing was massive. Now, there was a lot of juice, um, obviously. Uh, th th there's going to be a lot of juice there. There was, uh, you could get hardware. There was a lot of hardware there as well. You had all the, the usual Chinese manufacturers. You had a lot of French manufacturers. Um, that It was a good represent. I thought it was a good mix. I did think it was a good mix. Um, one thing I will point out. Um, pods. Pods, pods, pods. Uh, the, the pod systems are just taking over. <laughs> They're taking over. The amount I saw was insane. Uh, CBD was not as bad as I've seen in other places. Uh, but there were like CBD pods. Um, so... It, it, yes, I'll get back to the, the, the pods in a second and I've actually got some to show you. Um, what else can we, we cover with this one? Yeah, I it's, it's difficult for me because I go there. That for, obviously, for me, my main focus is going to be the Mod Makers Gallery and, and I really like it. I mean, I really like it. The, as a consumer, as um, and I hate to say this, as a, as a putting myself in the position of position of vape, an average vapor going to an expo, what would I take away from it? Um, I don't think there was enough seating areas. There wasn't enough chill out areas for people. I think that was lacking. Uh, I really do. Um, the queues at the places where you could get something to eat or drink were pretty grim. Uh, it was pretty grim. Um, I, I would like to have seen that improved as well. The music was not in your face. It wasn't um, bad. Uh, it wasn't boom, boom, boom everywhere you went. I mean, it was music, different music in different locations, obviously, but uh, it wasn't OTT. Uh, the dolly birds, uh, there hardly any. Uh, there was very few people handing out flyers. It wasn't like I've seen in Birmingham where they're, they're in your face and a ram. It just it wasn't like that at all, which was really good. It was um, <laughs> sorry, Rob. Hi, sexy. Um, yeah. So it, it was. It was good. It was well. It was well done. It was well done. I do I just yeah. Being able to sit, ch grab a seat, and chill out is is one of the main things because when you're walking about these, that you are there, say from ten o'clock until possibly six o'clock at night, you need somewhere to sit down and chill out. And I just think there should have been more areas like that. Um, the mod makers gallery was big. It was big. It was very big. There was a lot of people there. Um, it, it was my main... I'll get to the positives, but my criticism for the Mod Makers Gallery was that um, it was these little booths and they were all welded one next to one another. And it meant that um, basically if I walked up to a booth to look at something, it meant that nobody else behind me could see stuff. Um, I wish the booths had been spaced out more. It would have given more space for potential customers to see what was on display. And it would also have given more room to the actual mod makers because they were crammed in there. They were, it's like sardines. You had to see it to believe it. Uh, it was pretty mental. But um, as far as uh, business-wise goes, um, speaking to vendors mod makers and whatnot for the majority of the ones i spoke to they said it went very very well and they had a good time and they did well out of it um obviously depending on what the fashion is or what's popular and well that will dictate how busy you are so if if you're doing something that isn't the latest fashion then you might not be as busy as somebody that is selling something that is hip and cool right now so for example, the Frankie, co oh, Jesus wept. That I applaud that man for keeping that going. Uh, the Frankie queues were insane. Uh, you massive queues to actually get tickets. 
I'm not sure how the actual system worked, but uh, there was like two security guards on that stall. So even at that, I felt sorry for the stalls that were on either side to the Frankenstein. I can't take away from, it's not his fault that he's popular. Once again, kudos to him. And I, I think that's great. But uh, it, I felt sorry for the, the businesses on either side. Uh, I did feel sorry for them in that front. You could buy anything, you could pick stuff up, you could handle it and and remind me next year to do that rather than just taking video of stuff through cabinets. The reflection and the glare is horrendous and you don't really get a good look at stuff but then I don't like bothering mod makers and saying, Hoi, I, I, I want to do a video, let me hold your expensive mod whilst I take a video. I just feel like a bit of a dick. So I don't do that, but um, no, it was fun. I, th I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, one word of advice. If you ever go to, we go to France most years and, and it's something I did hear from mo some of my international friends. Um, if you go to France, make the effort to speak a little bit of French. I can't speak, f uh, my French is zero. Uh, jambon, and uh, fromage, baguette, s'il vous plaît, café au lait, um, bonsoir, that, that's about it, that's all I know. But if you make the effort, then they'll let it slide. Most people in France speak English, um, if not other languages, but if you make the effort, then they will probably start speaking English to you because they'll just feel sorry for you. But if you just wade in there doing speak my language, believe me, the French people will shut down and just give you shit. <laughs> they really will. Yeah. I've seen it so many times going to France. It's just, and it's something people, people say that the French can be um, a bit rude and whatnot. I guarantee you that 99% of the time the reason they're being rude is because you aren't making the effort and and so that's my humble advice to anybody going to France. As I said, we go to France every year. I love the country dearly and um, and and I had a great time. Um if there is, says you forgot Merky. What's Merky mean? <laughs> uh Rick, uh, yeah, the Frankie guys did the raffle ticket system again. Yes, they did. Uh, bonjour Marc, ça va? Um, yes, indeed. Right. Um, if you, I'm, I'm looking at chat here just now. Uh, Anton, hello. Um, uh, Rob, how are you doing? If there was, sorry, I was going to say there was lots of mechs. Purge. Lots of purge mods. Um, lots of billet box gear as well. Um, but yeah, big mechs purge everywhere uh, there was purge mods everywhere which were they're hideous <laughs> they're disgusting i don't care yes i'm sorry um i need a vape i've not had a vape i've been going for 23 minutes and i've not had a vape right here we go uh, i'm actually vaping which arrived before i left uh this wee thing the geek vape aegis um I shrunk you in the washing machine mod. It's good. I like it. Sorry, I'm getting some clouds in so I can keep talking again. Um, right, I, I did take with me, what I took with me to Paris uh, to vape with was I took my, my Neo 60 with a Skyfall on top. Um, that's the new Skyfall cap. Uh, that's one of the new Skyfall caps. That's the Ultim one. So this was my main vape the whole time I was away. Um, and off the back of a comment that was left on the review, people saying that, um, you know, it has flaws. It does this, it does... I can't, you know, people have their comments and opinions. And I gave this quite a few marks, not marks off, but I did point out it did have a... A few flaws but even though it has these flaws it's the mod I chose to take with me 
because I enjoy vaping with it. Um, so there you go. It's strange how these things work. Just, you know, remember in a review, I will point out negatives, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I don't like the device. Um, I really like this device. Uh, I also, uh, I, I took my Skyfall, Skyfall, no, Skyline, uh, Skyline. Uh, this is actually an old prototype version. This has got uh, more juice capacity. I don't know if these will ever come, you'll ever get around to making these. Uh, but uh, so, so this appeared and I took my uh, Optimus, is it Optimus? Optimus 18 by Amber Mods. And last but not least, I took this. This was my travel companion. And once again, it never let me down at all. Um, it's, I still maintain it's not mouth to lung. I don't think it's mouth to lung, but um, yes, uh, there we go. Um, did I pick up the new Vaponaut? No, I didn't, I didn't. Um, Andy's saying it, that yours doesn't have any flaws. Um, brilliant, good stuff. Uh, Simon Oliver, hello. Um, come on, needs more like. Oh, don't worry about likes and stuff like that. I don't worry about that kind of stuff. But thank you anyway. Thank you anyway. Um, do you want to see some toys? Do you? Do you? Do you really? Um, we have. Hello, TJ. Sorry, he's 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 not been on camera for uh, for ages. Look. Hello. He's glad to have me home. Just give me a biscuit, he says. Hang on, I need to find a biscuit for, for TJ. Or or we'll not get any peace and quiet. Ah, Bucky. And he's off. Right, there we go. Uh, the dog has been fed. And, um... Uh, Ari, me too. Um, the Hellfire Maverick, um... No, uh, Hellfire, we're not there. Um, Michael D uh, says, it's definitely not mouth to lung. Bought one two weeks ago. Very disappointed. It's a very loose draw. I did say that in my review. Um, any unicorns? Right. Uh, let's, let's just skip to it. Right. Hopefully uh, this works. Hopefully this works. So we'll start off we'll just start off left to right hopefully this is uh this i i got this wee thing i got this uh, from va the vaping art guys um they're they've been going for years they're brilliant uh but they, they threw this at me and i got and actually i got this through customs uh not custom security um but uh, a little wallet a little screwdriver set up oh that goes in like that uh, and I've already used this several times. Um, I think it's only about, it's only a few dollars this thing. But uh, so that was a little present, and that came in handy whilst I was there. And close that up. So that was one little gadget that was given to me. There we go. Right next, what can I show you? Um, oh, I met the uh, Matthew. I'm sure it's Matthew. Matthew, is it Matthew? Uh, I got a little present. He's in my uh, Facebook group, uh, but he gave me a little, uh, look at this, a little Ultim uh, Borrow, is it Borrow? I never know how they say that, uh, Borrow or Borrow or, uh, I've got this little Ultim tank from my billet box, so I'm, I'm, I'm a nice little bit of Ultim, I just need to get uh, some more Ultim doors, and, well, or get any Ultim doors, so that was, that was a nice little gift, so Thank you very, very much. Um, pop that to one side. Oh, my camera's that way. Sorry, I keep getting the camera the wrong way round. Right. How am I going to work this? I've no idea. I've got so much stuff to show you. Uh, so move that to one side. Um, oh, right. Here we go. Here's the first one of the new toys. Um, CNC. Um, the... The, you know the CNC, the guys, they did, uh, oh, was it the 31 grams? They did a, a mod. It was a tiny little mod with a MOSFET in it. I talked about it. Saw them in Vape Fest a couple of years ago. Uh, but they, they ran up. Uh, this mod was discussed in my Facebook group. 
and it's the the pod i think it's called is it the pod red door version no less um look at this <laughs> this is just brilliant i just tickled me so much seeing this little thing i'm not going to go into you know that a full-on review or anything like that but just to show you um this is uh an 18350 squonker uh so just for a comparison here there you go there's an 18650 battery just to give you an idea in size so we've got a, a little, uh, I think this is a little stab wood door we've got going on here. Obviously the CNC guys, they do their own 510s up the top. Uh, on the back, uh, we've got a little touch fire button going on here. Now I thought this was just going to be a mech, but no, they, they, they went to town. They rammed the stuff in here. Uh, so we've got a spare bottle. Positive and negative. You can see you've got a... I think the MOSFET, if I remember right, is sealed in there. They seal theirs. Uh, I can't actually see because my eyesight is so bad. Hopefully they've sealed it or it's coated. Um, but apparently this is a 5ml bottle. But apparently that's 5ml. Um, the, the only issue I have is that the bottle is so stiff. I mean, it's the stiffest bottle I've ever come across in a squonker. So I'll have to wait and see how that works out. But... Uh, and, and honestly, I've no idea on the price right now. Uh, if anybody in chat knows the price on these. I mean, a lot of this stuff I am literally just opening for the first time. And I'm not even... Oh, no, that's because I've put the door on the wrong way. Have I put the door on the wrong way? I have. What an idiot. <laughs> right, so there's one toy. There's one new toy. Um, actually... Squawk goes there. I'm losing it. I'm lo I am absolutely losing it. I can't even put a bloody door on. Uh, so there we go. There's a little 18350 squonk mod. And I think it's called the pod. Strangely enough. Which I think is quite cool. Uh, yes, Mr. Addy. I, I am a complete and utter knob. Um, now, here's something else. Another little squonker from El Sig Art. Um, you know the El Sig Art. Was it the, the, not the Lush, was it the Lust I just reviewed for them that was a squonking RDA? Uh, so now they have a squonker. It's called the Strip. Um, I'll get that out of there. Now this is a mechanical squonker. Uh, short and sweet version you can get lots and lots of different sleeves for this thing. Nice soft squonky bottle going on there. Uh, I think this is a CNC. If I remember right, this is a CNC uh, 510 up the top. But uh, the way this works is, if we watch this, if we take this and I just push up here. And here we go. Right. So this is Delrin. Obviously, this has been laser cut and so on and CNC'd. Uh, when you get it, it will come with a dummy battery inside it. This is brass, and this has been Cerakoted, all this brass around here. And we've got silver contacts and brass contacts going on. And it doesn't look like an armor, be quiet. Um, and we've got a little BFX squonk bottle. They've put their own little custom bit up the top here. And it's, obviously I've not used it yet, so I can't tell you much more. I think it's about 175 euros, but you will be able to buy other sleeves. And depending on which sleeve you go for, depends. I think it can cost more than this as well. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So that's from El Cigart. Uh, this was another one that was given to me. So a review shall be coming for this later on. Pop that away. Right, what have we got next? What have we got next? We have a little flight case. Okay, so this is the, well, remember the Corona that I reviewed a little while ago? So here we have 
um, the Corona. Well, oh, back to the camera, which is looks pretty much the same until you look at the drip tip. The drip tip up the top is very, very different. And you'll also see here, there's a little slit in there. Now, if I take this off, this... Oh, here we go. Now, the Corona before was a cloudy beastie. Uh, it was a cloudy beastie, uh, but they have changed it. So if you look in here, we have a reducer. So it's now down to single coil, and you can do mouth to lung with this. So this is the big thing about this. This is now turned the Corona into a mouth to lung tank. And I did try this whilst I was away, and it is, you can get a true, proper, just for Mr. Bissardo, you can get a proper mouth to lung out of this, which is 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 great, it is good to see. Uh, now, I don't honestly know, uh, I've not checked, I don't know if you can buy just the inserts, just the caps to, you know, to make it just have, so if you already own the V8, you know, you don't want to go and buy a whole other one just to make it mouth to lung, but if you can buy the mouth to lung adapters, I don't know. I really don't know about that just yet. I need to check that out. But uh, I will be doing a video showing off this and uh, and how it works. Um, right, there we go. Corona, uh, mouth to lung. Excuse me while I just keep moving stuff around here. Um, oh, oh, here's one. Here's one I've not even opened yet. Um, Ah, this way, this way, this way. Um, uh, Jose, or uh, yes, it's a mouth to lung top cap. Uh, basically, that's what it, exactly what it is. Um, it's also for vaping with, if we want to uh, yeah, go down that route. Uh, anyway, uh, the day one prototype. Um, for those of you that know Coil Vapes, um, Dean uh, from Coil Vapes does this one, that one, funnel cake, lots and lots of different types of juice. Um, basically, he got into bed with uh, the mission guys, and um, he. Well, let's let's. I don't think I've even opened this yet, have I? No, I've not. I've not been at. I got to have a vape on Dean's whilst I was there, but uh, this is my first time opening this, so we'll we'll let's have a gander. So this was Dean's, uh, basically Dean's baby. He's had this in his head for a few years. Uh, so he went to the guys, and um, and this is what he's... Oh, this way, this way, this way. So this is basically what it is. That's 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 a long 510 in that one. Uh, we'll get my little uh, dingo at the stand here, and we'll get inside and have a look. Oh, we've got... A, a beauty type ring thing type thing here as well. Okay, so here's your deck. It's a, it's a single coil, little 22 mil. Is it, is it 22 mil? Pretty sure. No, with the beauty ring it's not. Uh, so we've got our deck in there. You can squonk with this. You can do all the usual kind of stuff. Uh, I'm not going to get into. You've got slanted airflow going on there. And it's quite. A, it's a pretty little thing. I like the fact that it's got a satin finish on the inside. Uh, squonk pin is going to be off the deck there. Does it come pre-installed with the squonk pin? It does. It's got a really, really nice little finish on the deck there. I like how they've done that. Uh, Jez, I've not got a purge. It's a wee. Um, and so it's just single airflow on here. How does this work? Does that go on? This does go on here. Yes, it does. It will. It shall. You will. There we go. That goes on there. You've got this beauty ring as well. Oh, I can't focus. So it can look like that. Uh, there's also He also gave me a clear cap as well for it. I'm not sure in pricing. Um, and um, I'm not... Like I say, this is the prototype. I think it's going to be a couple of weeks away before it's released. But um, I had a vape on it, and I did like it. I liked the vape on it. I, I did like the vape. Um, uh, as as for hell, uh, single O-ring, meh. Uh, um, to be brutal, uh, and I am being a bit 
up front and in your face. My apologies. If the um, if the O-ring is done right, then you should only need one. Uh, to be honest, um, if it's a crap O-ring, then you really do need two. But um, single O-ring atties, yeah, they can be fine. So there we go, the day one prototype. Uh, once again, this is by Mission and Dean from Coil Vapes. There will be a review for this coming. Andrew, it doesn't look like... Well, I see you up... I've got to stop saying it looks like an armour. Everybody says that. Now, um, at Mizzou, I absolutely know... What is this? this oh, I've got a vape. <gasps> yes, I've gone down the rabbit hole. Uh, I'm really sorry. Oh, upside down. Um, vape shell. I got one. Yes. Um... I, I I just yes this is a, a rebuildable for the billet box. I will be I I what can I say yes I've gone down the rabbit hole I've got a vape shell for my billet box now. Uh, I will be showing this off I will be letting you know. Uh, Chillman zero seven, S T F U, um and um, there we go. Vape shell. Now I've got something else from these guys as well. Where's it going? I have. I do. What have I done with it? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Right. Here's something else. I I, I said I think I said to the start I met up with these guys. Uh, now these were the this was the first company that ever ever gave me something free to review. Um, And it was just so good to actually meet up with them. Uh, so here we go. This is, I think it's called The Creek. Yes, it is. It's called The Creek. This is their new RDA. Um, hopefully that's shown up here. Creek. See that? Large hole in this side. Small hole in this side. This is quite a funky little thing. It's got a replaceable block, so you can go pretty much mouth to lung or a more open draw if you change out this one here. Um, so, mm, yes. Uh, do you want, here, I'll give you a quick look at the deck. I don't normally like doing mucking about with dry O-rings, but we'll, we'll show you this anyway. There we go. Uh, it's a bit... I must admit, this this doesn't excite me. Looking at it, it doesn't excite me. But, uh, you know, it's, it's domed in there. It's got quite a small chamber. And, yeah, you can do mouth to lung or you can do a more open draw. I'll have to wait and see. I did have a quick vape on it and it seemed to be okay. But, uh, once again, need to wait until I review it. Um, I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to tell you it's awesome when I've not used it. Um, unlike some other people. Anyway, um, next, there is a lot here. Um, I got this as well from a very, very nice man. Uh, I don't know if you remember, I told you a story about how I met a man uh, a long time ago in uh, a castle in Poland and he told me all about dog hair. Look at the dog hair in this poor atty. This is the papillon uh, or the butterfly from Gus and so the lad that told me about this um, told me about another mod as well. So I eventually got a hold of this Atty. And finally, after a couple of years, I met up with him again and, and he passed on this mod. Uh, so, here we go, I've got a car. It's the, get out of the way, the Project Jumo snaked. Um, Quite a funky little thing, this. Little squonker. If I remember it, yeah, look. This this is what I liked about it. The, these all come off, so you can get these... You can get different panels for it and stuff like that. Quite a simple little design. But I like this bit. I like this bit. I don't know if I quite like it as much as the Quark, uh, the BVB. I think that's uh, a bit of a smarter design. But uh, this is quite... It's quite smart. He had one with him and I got a shot of it and I did like it. 
So that is the, there we go, Project Jumo snaked. Just like that. And it only did come with a bottle. It came with a, a BFX bottle as well. So what I'll do is we'll pop this back in the box. And it looks like an RSS. Addy, I'm so going to block your ass. <laughs> Just... Um... Right, next, what else can I show you? What's what's this? I've no Oh this oh 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 wait until you see this wee guy. Um now I reviewed an atty for these guys many many years ago. Many many years ago. Um and they've now come out with a new one. Look at this. I never know if this is, oh, it's that way up. Is it that way up? I love the presentation on this little thing. Just the fact that it's got, there's your box, turn it upside down, and you've got a little latte stand. It's really smart. Um, now, uh, th there is a, a lot of people might not get this, might not get this, uh, but the short and sweet version is, this is, it's meant to replicate atties of old. Uh, like little 14 or 16 mil uh, dripping atomizers. Uh, so you, flavor bangers. Uh, it's all about the flavor in this thing. Um, it is a tiny, tiny little deck. It really is. And the air holes are, I mean, that's a, a one mil air hole and you go up to three 1.6 I think they are if I remember right could be wrong in that and all you do is if you want to change your airflow you just pull the cap off and just spin it around like that now this is only to be vaped you know this is going to be one ohm and above you, you don't vape with them um, you know this is not for low what low what low wattage low resistance vaping this is high resistance vaping this is for like tasting juices this is for like for you you older gentlemen out there that, that like mouth to lung vaping uh this is who this is for but i'll do a review on this i think it's quite smart i did get a shot in one and it was really really nice um obviously it's a delrin top cap they did give me a stainless steel one as well which I will show off in the review. But um, yeah, for a lot of people, this is not going to be their kind of thing. Um, so yeah, if you like building coils under one ohm, oh, one ohm? <laughs> one ohm, then it's, it's definitely not for you. And uh, why didn't I bring out any coffee before I started this? Um, um, Mooch, uh, yeah, two mil coil, two mil, uh, two mil will be fine. Uh, two mil, 2.5 actually works well on it as well. Uh, but uh, obviously I've not built in it or done anything with it. So uh, I can't give you much more information in that. Uh, oh, I will say, uh, long uh, a few a little while ago, I reviewed the little 16 mil Atty for, uh, E Phoenix, um, I mentioned this in I think a vlog or something like that. Uh, I'll take this out. They did, even though I got a bit of stick for it when I said that it was not that great uh, for me for doing custards and desserts and so on. Um, they did actually come out with a totally different top cap for this thing. Uh, So they've changed the chamber inside, apparently. I know that's not showing up that well on here, but um, yes, they've, they've changed the chamber on it. So they, they gave me one. I actually I actually gave the Atty away to somebody else to get them to try it out to see if it was me that was being uh, useless. Uh, they came to the same opinion. Uh, they passed the Atty on to somebody that vapes with um, tobaccos uh, and they loved it. Uh, so I'll, I'll get this cap onto them and, and they can try it out because I don't actually have the Atty anymore. Uh, but the guys knew that. They still gave me the top cap. Um, 
Addy, is that our alcohol at the back? Do you know I could drink some of that alcohol? I really could go some of that. Mm. Um, no, I can't. Oh, by the way, don't drink Racky. Racky may be okay, but home-brewed Racky was invented by the devil. Uh, it is evil. I will also say to Dean at the Coil Vapes, he is an animal, uh, an absolute animal uh, when it comes to drinking alcohol. What a guy. Seriously, <laughs> what a guy. Um, uh, hello, Mr. Larkin. Um, what else did I get? Oh, ah, right, I'm jumping the queue here a bit, but I need to show you this. This um, wins my... No, there's another, there's another thing. Right. If you ever get the chance, go and, and, and hopefully that shows up. Go and just Google those mods. Um, that is... I saw them at Expo last year in Paris. I've been following them on their website for a couple of years now. I've spoken to them. These are exquisite mods, and uh, fingers crossed I'm actually getting one to review. Uh, that, as always, was my favourite thing to see, was this little mod. Uh, I, I just love it with a passion. Um, however, <laughs> this was my standout mod. This is my standout everything. This fried my brain. This was just amazing. I, I don't know if the... the um, did I have a camera? I do have a camera. Yes, I do. <laughs> is, is that... It's a bit in the big... Ah, it's too big. Um, we'll just do it this way. Okay. Get that. Grab that. So here we have a pipe. Okay. It's you're just going to say, well, it's just a pipe. It's just a pipe. It's not just a pipe. Believe me, this is not just a pipe. So um, uh, let's 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 get a battery. I'm going to get, going to get a battery for this, and I have to show you because this just blew me away. This absolutely blew me away. Uh, I've not got a. Unfortunately, I don't have a manual for it, um, which is uh, a bit embarrassing, and and I can't remember which way the battery goes in. Is it positive down or positive up? I can't remember. It's, it's so bad. Uh, right, let's just pop this on here. If anything goes bang right about now. Ah, right, here we go. Okay. Get this out of the way. Hopefully this shows up. Close up. Right, so here we have one pipe. Okay, so this has a diecodes board in it. It's made by Yogg's E-Pipe. And uh, we have some a serial number going on here. And we have some markings going on here. This is all lovely. The, the pipe is absolutely flawless. It's absolutely flawless. Uh, we have a firing button here. It's just a touch button. You just touch it and it'll fire. Uh, battery goes positive down. Uh, we'll find an atty. Let, let's let's. Will it take a twenty-five? No, it's not a twenty-five job. This one. Uh, let's. I'll try this. Oh, that that. This might work. I'm I'm putting on the the cloud one. Can I? Now, uh, let's go back up top. Let's get my drip tip on this. See if my drip tip will go on this. So there you go. You've got a little pipe. Um, I've got to well, this on. Uh, open up the juice flow control. Excuse my. Uh, I didn't really think this one through. So watch this. just a tiny light pressure so you're thinking to yourself okay uh, that's a really nice pipe watch this watch this right up the top you will get an insert that will sit in here and that will blank this off and make it look more like a normal pipe 
but in the box comes this. It's magnetic, it's magnetic. So there's a, a little contact pin here that makes contact with the, the outer rim on the, the disc. And when I drop this in, I've now, I know, I know that's not showing up well. I've now got my full die codes menu system. Uh, it, it, this, this, this just blew me away. Uh, this just blew me away. Uh, you can just pull it back off again. So if you set your your wattage and all the rest of it, and you don't want to bother with the menu system, and I need a little bit. I've got a a, a leaking atty here. I think I've opened that too far, as usual. There we go, that's it. So you just, this is, this is amazing. This, this, this just, I, I think, I think they won an award for this at the show, uh, but it's really, really clever. And this was my favorite thing from Paris. Miles just, um, no, I don't get a magnifying glass with it, but. Um, I, I, unfortunately, I will say that uh, it does mean that uh, my usual uh, love affair with uh, the die codes or decodies, however you say it, uh, shall continue. Um, let's. Um, there we go. Power. And uh, Mr. Pigeon Catcher is absolutely right. It's a shame that I can't actually read it. <laughs> it's just, there's nothing wrong with the menu. It's just, there we go. I, I just, I can't get over, I know I'm waffling on. I just cannot get over this, this disc system here. I, I really can't. I just love the way that works. Uh, and now I need to 3D print myself a pipe holder. I really need one badly, or just buy one. Anyway, right, so there we go. There's there's my favorite thing from the event. I thought I would just jump in and just show you that. Uh, Simon, can we get a review in the menu system, please? Simon, evil, evil man. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I, I just... I mean, Henry and George and uh, the guys, Daiko's guys, um, are are just so super nice to me. I mean, they're so nice to me, and I love the the work that they do. And the the board is so efficient and it's so good, but it's just not a good fit for me and how what I like. But what they make is incredible. Uh, but obviously the pipe, a lot of the, the pipe is down to Yogg's pipes, you know. It's Anyway, moving on. Um, I did also get, what did I also get? I also did get, I was given this. Um, basically, I met the Art Mizzou guys. The Art Mizzou guys uh, were in a, a little cubicle that they were sharing with other people. Now, the only juice that I bought, I refused, they offered this to me for free, but I refused to take it for free because it was so bloody good. Um, Boston Shakers. Is it Boston Shaker or Shaker? Boston Shaker is the name of the juice company. Um, I had to buy this and bring it back because um, I just, like, Tony, of course they're nice to you. No. <laughs> Not in that way. They're just nice people. Um, this is exquisite juice. If, if you've ever... I don't know if you've ever heard of this or whatnot. I can't even just... Go to their website. Look up Boston Shaker e-liquid. It's stunning. It's it's really, really nice juice. Just go and have a look. Um, so I bought this, but beside them in the same cubicle, if you like, uh, it was this young couple... And uh, they came up and said, uh, can we give you a mod uh, and show it off? And um, 
they were really nice and 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 whilst it's i I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you i'll show it to you so it's from a company called 3d make art and they do lots of different ones they do mosfets i think they do regulated but they gave me one of their little uh, standard ones so it's That's the company there. Um, Jason, thank you so, so much for the $5. Please, um, I'll just donate that straight to charity. That'll go straight to charity. Please do, uh, don't, please don't use, I need to switch that bloody thing off. Uh, please don't anybody use that feature at all. Um, if you ever want to, to, to do anything money-wise, there's links in all my videos for charities that uh, I support. Uh, please use that instead, uh, never, but thank you, thank you, Jason, very, very much. Uh, so there was this, and they gave it's a nice little, it's a little three D printed jobby, jobby, job, uh, with a a beautiful little wooden door. Um, it's all silver contacts. It's a it's a mod maker five ten. It's a nice tidy little. I like the natural wood on it, and the finish is very, very smooth. have a look inside the door's a bit in the tight side i will say um there we go it's just uh, it's a mod maker setup we've got a lock there silver contacts very simple i've got i'm actually locked there just now i think am i yes i am move that back there we go making contact and that's it this little squonker um so i'll show that i'll use it uh, and i'll show this off in a proper video at a later date but um uh, they, they were a nice couple and they were very enthusiastic about their mod and uh, it's all fine and well for me saying via email to people uh, I don't review um, you know just bog standard box mods anymore it has to be something a little bit different but uh, trying to explain that in French um, is kind of difficult <laughs> it's so just I just took it and um, and and I promised that I would show it off and then I can't get the door back on. How how I I'm just I really should have had a cup of coffee before I started doing this. Pox. Right, let's let's pop this back back in here anyway. Excuse my tardiness. Uh, six months ago they would have sold a boat sell, sold a boatload. Yes, you're absolutely right. Um it's, but then different markets. I don't know. It, it's strange, you know, what's passed in, say, the UK or America, maybe just coming into fashion in other countries. Um, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Um, what else can I show you? Here we go. I never really thought this video out. I have got... No, it's not sweeties. I'll let you go, you cheeky sod. Um, these guys. Very nice people. Um, it's good catching up with them again. Uh, right. Uh, typhoon. Or as, as people like to say to me, it's Tayfun. And yes, I said Tayfun for many, many years. Uh, but then I, I was... It's Typhoon. Anyway, there we go. Uh, so this is their new Atty. And I can't even remember the name of it now, which is really bad. Uh, smoker store. What, what is it, what's it called? What, what's it? Oh my God, somebody will tell me in chat. I know it's going to be written in here somewhere and, and I should really... Oh, it comes with a, a nice beauty ring. Um, there we go. Let's see if I can't get this in a bit more fun. So we've got Typhoon. One air hole here. Is there one in the other side? Yes, there's one in the other side. And it's the it's the the B it's the it's the it's a thing. Is that B T D? I don't somebody help me. It's the B T D. It's the Bob. <laughs> yes. Three characters. It says Bob. Uh Right, let's have a look inside. It's actually got quite like the drip tip on that. There we go. 
It's not an armor. Will you lot get pumped? Wind me up something rotten. Uh, so here we go. It's uh, okay. Four post and two air holes. Now, what's different about this? What's the? Let me. I need. I need to find a pointy thing. This, this needs to be... Is this How is this different? How is this different? Okay, so the air is coming down at an angle. It's coming right down at an angle there. But, um... How is, how is, how is this different? This should be different. It's from the Typhoon guys. Um, okay, this isn't... Honestly, this isn't really exciting me right now. I was expecting something a bit more radically different from them. I'll have to pop a build in this and see how I get on with it but we'll give it a go now it's got a deep it has got a deep well I'll give them that it's got a deep well it might be hard to over squonk with this but they also gave me uh, an ultim and a black cap for it as well but but right now there's no okay here we go here we go found it I knew there had to be something somewhere that made it different so we've got a reducer going on in there as well How's that? Oh, that's just for the posts to sit in. That's what it is. So it has got quite a reduced chamber. Okay. I'm not quite as sceptical now. We shall... Hmm, we'll have to see. This one I want to try sooner rather than later. But there we go. There's the, the Bob Typhoon. It's, it's not called the Bob Typhoon before anybody asks... Because I know I'll get flack for saying that. Um, Bill Hubbard says, turn the 510 pin 45 degrees and it turns into an RTA. Are you winding me up, Bill? Bill, you wouldn't wind me up. You're too nice a bloke to wind me up. You are winding me up, aren't you? I don't know. I've not researched it or anything like that. So that he, he could be on a, a total piss take. Um... You evil man. Okay, uh, what else have we got going on here? Um, oh! This thing. This thing that I can't remember what it's called because it doesn't have a name on the box. Um, Hadley. Entheon. Those guys. This is their new one. Um... Once again, you guys in chat will give me the name. Um, right, oh, let's get this bloody hole. See, yeah, they're all in a wind-up in chat now. They're all taking the piss. Um, is it Cyclone mods that make this? Uh, there we go. There's uh, Obviously, there's your um, average American vapor. Uh, you can see there. Obviously, that's what they all look like in the States. Thank you very much. Um, did I say I was going to Vegas? <laughs> What else have we got in here? Oh, we've got little bits and bobs, little tools and stuff. Cyclone mods, Citadel, Marvin. Thank you so, so much. Uh, this was uh, uh, from Custom Vapes. Uh, they were actually over there. Um, Abzi was over and he gave this to me whilst I was there. Okay, oh, this way. So. Right, okay. Let's have a look inside. Now, I know what's inside here, and I do have very high hopes for this one. I have very high hopes for this. There we go. Now, look at that. An Ultim Reducer. Now, I bet you nobody else has thought of doing that before. This is very unique. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm taking the piss. Right. Uh, okay. This is... Uh, this is one that I am quite interested in. Oh, it's... Yep, so that's going to pop off like that. Okay, so so this actually looks... Did I not just show you this a few minutes ago? Or a variation of it? <laughs> uh, anyway, so there we go. But I, I'm kind of hoping that this Ultim Reducer is going to make this a lot more interesting on the vape and flavour front. But... Um, Can I, can I get that back in there? Now, if I try and push that back on there, 
Uh, I will break that. Uh, Dominic, I don't do sarcasm. I'm just... There we go. Boom. Just like that. Uh, as for Dell, uh, no, it wasn't. Listen, Ultim reducers have been inside Atties for a very, very long time. Uh, go back and, you know, check out your boost gear. Uh, it's nothing new. They've been around for a long time. Uh, but no, that wasn't pointed at his way. So there we go. There's the Citadel. Uh, I like the look of that. And I'm quite curious how this is going to work out. I have no idea why it comes in a stupid box like that, though. But hey ho, there we go. Next. Um, where, where's my moose? There's my moose. Right. What? I want to. Oh, can I show you? Can I actually show you this? I might be able to show you this. Hang on. Um, did you miss me? Right. I I I don't normally show this kind of stuff, but um, TJ got a a present uh, from now my my Dutch friends. Uh, I don't know if you'll see. Um, you can't see it. It's because it's gone up there. But uh, I have my up on, up on my little fox, up up there. Doink. I have a, a little pair of clogs that I got as a present from some, from TJ's fan club. Basically, they bought a unicorn for TJ, um, a little stuffed one, and um, and they got me a clog. Uh, anyway, but um, Peter from PC Coils, uh, PC Coils. Uh, made me some coils, and it even came in my own little, my own little tube. Look, I got my own little PC coils tube, and he made them right bang on the resistance that I like to vape with. So, thank you, Peter, so so much. Go and check out PC coils. Um, the, the, there's a group of folk. There's a group of folk that, uh, and they're they're so so. They're good people, and and they kind of spoil my dog something rotten. And uh, but um, I'll I'll show you this. Wait until you see this. This was me coming home last night. I brought you something. I did. It's it's from it's from your pals. <coughs> What's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> I'll not show you all of it, but there you go. TG, TG got a new toy. He got a, 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 and I won't tell you how embarrassing. It wasn't embarrassing, but I walked about with that all day Saturday, uh, all day Saturday, in my man bag, uh, hanging off my man bag. Uh, so, that, but that that was good fun. Um, right. Um, what else we got? JP Solari, the XEV, it's, it's, it's the Dyson hairdryer, and doggy. I'm, I'm just checking chat. Right, I'll show you some other stuff uh, now. Where did it go? There we go. Uh, I shall not lie to you, uh, but um, I spoke about these before, and um, and I will say that the, um, the whole disposable nature of these things... Uh, it's this. It's the Stig. It's a disposable pod device. Um, I don't like the whole disposable nature of it, but oh, sorry, I just hit the mic. But these, I, I do like these. These are great for traveling with. I think I might have killed this one. This is the tropical mango one. Yeah, that's just a bit dead. Uh, Twenty milligram. Um, I I actually picked up three packets of these when I was over there because I do enjoy using them. The USB stick, yeah, it does look like a USB stick. Yeah, uh, they're just great. I I really do like them. But I was sitting speaking with the people that produce these, and they are talking about introducing uh this. 
how can I put this? Waste disposal units, if you like, recycle units or areas inside vape shops for like plastic bottles and things like this. Uh, so they, they are, yeah, they're talking about getting that. Whether that's advertising hype or whatnot, I don't know. Uh, but I will say that I enjoy using them and I get why people don't like the, the whole plastic. It's got a battery in it. You just bin it once you're done with it. I get that. I totally get it. Um, but it doesn't mean that I don't like vaping with them. Especially when you're traveling and you're looking for a quick blast and a quick hit of nicotine. I love them from that point of view. Um, and I'll say no more on that one. Uh, however, they did show me this. They did show me this. And and I've and I can't remember much about it, but this is basically a new thing that's coming. I got I got a lot of sales pitch and banter and and all that um, discussion. These guys were it's it's, it's the V God guys basically the guy behind the V God, um, and he was explaining what they're doing next, and he was showing me their new little pod system they're going to be using the dna go the same as the orion but in a different form factor I, i'm sitting talking to him for about half an hour and it was mind-blowing the stuff he was coming away with anyway let's um have a look and see what if, i can't remember what this i can't even remember what this is all about uh now this was um this is not a retail pack this is not a retail pack okay What's this all about? Ant pods toast enables juice makers and brands to deliver juices from ready to go smart devices providing them with I don't know who I don't know who this is aimed or what this is all about just now actually. Yeah, this is this is for I think for this is for them giving out to juice makers and whatnot. Can I get in? Can I get in? Can I get into this? Check this wee thing out. Don't don't ask me anything about these. I, I really just I don't know what's going on with them or who they're intended to or how you fill them or in like that. But uh, it's just a little pod. I think you just obviously use this syringe to fill it. You also get a little lanyard so that your what's all this in here? This looks like plugs of some description. And then that's gonna slide is this gonna slide in here? There you go. There you go. The, the, that that's what you're gonna vape with. Yeah, I, I, honestly, guys, um, I, I get what you're saying about the, the needle and the syringe and whatnot. I I don't think that this isn't meant for customers or, or us. This is a, a retail retail demo pack, if you like, something like that. I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that I think that's what it's all about. Um, I really don't know. I really don't know. Maybe I should have paid more, more attention when he was talking to me, but... Um, it was um, it was getting a bit sales pitchy type stuff, and then and obviously I'm not really interested in this kind of stuff, as you well know. But uh, well, I'll, I'll try. If I even knew how to fill it up, that would be a good start. If I could actually see, that would be an even better start. And I'm not even going to pretend that I can actually see where you fill that. Um, as for Dale, uh, Jason, I saw this in a movie called Strain Spotting. Yes. I have the beast in my shite. Um, put that down there. Right, we've, we've still got stuff. Um, they also gave me this, the the V God Pro two hundred kit. Uh, I am. I, I think I was one of the few people that actually liked the last uh, V God, the the black one with the big red V God logo on it and all that kind of jazz. I liked it. Uh, some people said it was pants but uh, hey ho what are you going to do um, I haven't even seen this 
Does anybody else know what this is like? Oh, this is a bit different. Oh, cool. Comes with a sub tank. Just what I needed. Another sub tank. Ah, oh, is it? Oh, this is a bit different. Okay, here we go. Let's show you this. UV God mod. I don't know if this has been out for long or, or whatnot. If they just. Okay, playing show you this on Spotify. What the fuck? <laughs> I think I think my Google Home Assistant just threw an absolute wobbly there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trevor Larkin okay Google stop I don't know what's going on uh, my Google Home Assistant just threw a wobbly uh, Trevor Larkin you once again you are fired uh, so here we go V God uh, we have I don't even know how to get into this we've got a oh oh heavy duty magnets okay so dual 18650 that is what a weight in that. You don't want to trap your finger in that thing. Um, and we have up and down buttons, and we have oh, we have a thumb fire up the top here. V God, uh, I don't know. I, pre I like the old one. I prefer the old one. Oh well. Um, leave me alone about the whole drugs things. I don't do drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. Um, and I've, how do I get this back in here? There, right, here we go. Sorry, I've got to put this stuff away as I'm unpacking it so I can remember what it actually is, who it came from, and what I'm supposed to do with it. And I need another vape. Here we go, we'll have a vape in this. Similar to the Vupu drag. In what way? Sorry, in what way? Uh, yes, it's Jewel 18650, and, and, and that's about all I know. Um, right, uh, we're, we're getting there. We're almost done. Um, I do have this, but uh, I don't think I'm supposed to actually to, to, to show you this off much. This is uh, Project X by Hassar Vapes. Uh, this is how it came to me. Uh, a nice, I think this is hydro dipped. I think this is just wood that's been hydro dipped. We've got that little X going on there. And there, there's an atty in here. So uh, I'm going to show you because people have been posting photos. Uh, I'm not going to show you the deck or anything like that. Uh, I'll wait and see if other people are doing that. I don't want to get into trouble. But uh, this is the, the, the new X Whoop. by Hussar. Husa, Husa vapes. Uh, it's it's more like uh, an RDTA, you know the, the 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 your decks down here and the just drips down onto the deck. It's kind of like the the whisperer in that respect. Is it the whisper? The whisper. Uh, so it's kind of like that. So this is the new X, and uh, I've actually had this for months and months. Uh, this was the prototype that I was vaping away with. And it's kind of different. So, there we go. Uh, I, I will do a review for that. They did also finally, finally, finally give me extra bits and bobs for the, the Duda, the Legacy. So, I shall be doing a proper review for the Legacy at long last. How the hell does this go back in here? I have no idea. See, it's, it's all going horribly wrong. Let's get the bag in first. Um, now, this poses a good question, actually. Um, how the hell am I going to review all this stuff? Seriously, how, how am I going to review all this? There's a lot of gear here. And... Um, I think some of it... I, I'm going to have to accept that... Um, <clears throat> Some of these might get show and tell videos. Uh, like maybe just get a couple of builds through it, use it for a couple of days and then do a review. 
rather than what I normally do with stuff. Um, because if I do my usual, then it, it could be months before some of this stuff gets reviewed. It really could be. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I really do not know what I'm going to do. Uh, right, let's pop that away. Um, now, some stuff that arrived in the mail whilst I was away. Uh, happy days. Happy days. Very, very happy days. Um, Haze Town Vape. Haze Town? Haze Town. The makers of Nata. Um, a juice that I am uh, very fond of because it's Portuguese custard tarts. And I am a huge fan of this juice. Huge fan. So they sent me some more juice on. Okay, so that, that's wonderful. Excellent. Uh, they also sent me some Nick Salts on as well. They do some Nata Nick Salt now, which is excellent because I'll be using it in those pods. But they've also got a new liquid. What is this? See if I can uh, oh, take that out of the way. Don't want to show you my address. I already get enough sh crap through the mail as it is. Fram, frambacosa, frambacosa, framboza, frambosia, frambosia. I'm going with that. Raspberry, Portuguese custard tarts. So this is their their new juice. And I need to smell this now. No, I'm not smelling the raspberry. I'm not. I need the. Uh, I need. Uh, I need to vape this. I need to vape this now. There's a man sitting in a shed, surrounded by vape gear, um, and um, and has he got a battery in anything? Has he? Yeah, there we go. The battery's absolutely dead on that. Uh, I need to charge that. I um. <laughs> Seriously, uh, how, how difficult can one man make his life? Um, have we got a bat? Oh, we've got a battery in this. Actually, I've not shown you this. This is actually the a little mouth to lung RDA. Uh, I'm just gonna burn some of that off. This is actually. I'll give you. I don't know. If, I'm, I'm mumbling here. This is the spiral. I know that's not out of focus, but it's the spiral RDA. Um, I'm I'm hoping to have a review for this up by the weekend, but it goes down to a, like a zero point. I think it's got a zero point eight air hole on it. No, ho, ho, ho. yes. Yes, yes, this does taste of raspberry. This really does taste of raspberry. Not as strong in the second hit. Yeah, it's like half nata and half raspberry. That's exactly it, Ali. Thank you very much. You should become a juice reviewer. It's half nata and half raspberry. That's that, that's exactly what it is. But the raspberry is not muted at all. It's coming through, well, it's coming through really nicely in this. Um, French raspberry. Um, um, no, it, 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 I have no idea. Where the raspberries come from? I don't know. I don't know if they're French. They could be Scottish raspberries for all I know, but they're still in Portuguese custard tarts. That's actually. I don't know if I like it. it it's strange. I really like nata. It's a nice twist on a nata. Um, I don't know if it's something I would necessarily vape all day, but. Um, Yes, I'm getting the high notes, I said. Um, uh, Simon said, um, fresh raspberry. I thought you said French. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> Hang on a second. Aye, 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 aye. 
French. Fresh. See? I need to get glasses. I really do. Um, okay. Next, uh, we have... So, thank you for that. Um, I also have that. I also... I also... Oh, I met the, the Mod Dog guys. Uh, the Mod Dog guys. Um, remember, I reviewed my Pulsar. And it was... Yeah, the firing button was it was it was basically it was a bit uh, wasn't the best on my one, uh, but they contacted me after my review and said, "Listen, you should have contacted us and said your firing button was shit, and we would have given you a brand new one." Uh, so they did. They gave me a brand new one, uh, which I'm really happy about. Um, so there we go. Uh, so thank you to the mod dog guys as well, and I will. I'll say this again. I love my pulsar. It's one of my favourite squonkers, because um, it's a gadget, and I really love it. And this is something that came from... <laughs> this is something that came from... Um, I, I just I quickly opened this last night when I got home. I didn't actually realise that it had the name of the sender, but it's something new. Uh, Basically, if you don't know this, if you're not on Facebook, you're not aware of these things. But when I sell something in a private sale, I do put it through, I rinse it under the tap and I put it through my Sonic uh, and it gets cleaned. However, I, I will admit that I, the stuff I give away, I normally throw into a box, an envelope and it goes out. So it's a bit of a joke that nearly everything I send out is usually covered in custard, nata, and dog hair. So Dominic has um, sent me this. <laughs> I love it. I was getting hung up. I can go up there just now. I can go up there just now. I love it. Dominic, thank you so, so much, mate. Uh, it was greatly appreciated. And I am a happy camper. A happy camper. Right, uh, we're almost done. Thank you for sticking with me through this. Thank you. Um, push that out of the way. Now, the last thing that I do have to show you is that it's something I bought. Yes, I buy things if, from time to time. Um, uh, there, uh, now, can I show you this? Okay. abstract mods in the UK these are my abstract mods a couple of squonkers okay um, but then um, the sexy man that is Mike uh, the sexy man that is Mike uh, he's actually he was doing um, before I went away to France he, he posted up that he was doing new battery caps that you could buy um, so I bought some I bought some new battery caps for my abstract mods and look at these look at the machine in it oh oh where am i going i'm here these are absolutely gorgeous look at them so these are my new battery caps from the sexy mr mike at uh, abstract mods, I'm absolutely over the moon. They're really, really smart, and I, and and I'm glad. And I bought two, and I, and I got a third one, which is is really nice of them to chuck that in. Thank you so so much, mate. You're an absolute diamond, and a very sexy man. And he, and he also put popped this in. I think this is something he's working on. I don't know if he's going to be when he's going to do them, or if it's something that's coming soon from him. But a little atty stand, as well, which is very very pretty, very pretty. Uh, Matt, I'm pretty sure it was Eddie that machined those. I, th I think you're absolutely right. Uh, Chris Bishop says Dacus, or is it Dacus, or Dacus? I just call him a very sexy man. I actually have his 2019 calendar already on my shed wall. Uh, right. Actually, can I try one of these on just now? What one? I don't know what one I should put on first. I really shouldn't do that while you're watching. It's a bit rude, isn't it? But those of you that know me know I'm I'm very, very rude. 
Uh, let's pop that down there. Just to show you. How cool is that? Over the moon with that. Really am over the moon with that. I think that looks gorgeous. And there we go. Holy crap, that's an hour and 34 minutes of 100, well, one hour and 35 minutes of me. Um, my English saying it's pronounced Dacus. Dacus. So Dacus, like I said. Um, so there we go, Paris 2019. Uh, I have lots of toys to show you. There will be reviews for nearly all of this gear. Some of it won't be getting reviewed. Uh, it'll be getting showed off, shown off in more details in other vlogs. Uh, I had a blast of a time. Listen, if I'd come back with nothing but photos of me cuddling other people, I would be chuffed to hell. I would still be over the moon. Uh, these events are what you make them. At the end of the day, it's what you make them. If you go... Everybody has expectations when they go to these events. Um, I go... I want certain things out of these events. Um, and truth be told, there's 10% of an actual expo. The Modders Gallery is all that appeals to me. Everything else I'm not really bothered about. Uh, I don't want to go and look at Chinese mods, I'm afraid. Uh, um, it just doesn't interest me. Um, I don't want to go and look at juice stands because I only vo I vape the same juice day in, day out. I, I have one, two... I have three or four different brands of juice there. That That's all it is, and nothing else really interests me. Uh, it's mostly because these are from people I know, and that's it. But if you go with an open mind to a vape event and just kick back and enjoy yourself, uh, you will have a good time. You will have a good time. Nearly all these events are... So much money, time, and effort goes into setting them up, and... I enjoyed myself. I came back in my flight and I thought I had a bloody great time. And that's it. What, how, how else do you judge an event? How else do you judge it? Um, fun. Just fun. Talk to people. That would be my main thing. Talk to people. If you're on Facebook groups, if you're on forums, if you're on any of these things, find out who else is going. Meet up with them. People you haven't, people you haven't met before, but just spoken to um arrange to meet up it's the best thing about vape events forget all the gear forget the vaping meeting up with people having a drink and a chat is the best thing you can do at these and i love it for that uh, <laughs> uh um dominic are you using jedi punk as a cleaner liquid yes i am my drains have never been cleaner uh, I've actually used it all. I've, I've vaped it all. Uh, that's how nice it was. Um, can you recommend a good online shop, says Jay? Depends what you're looking for. Uh, depends what you're looking for. Um, what country you're in as well. Uh, sorry, mate. Um, uh, Simon says, hasty back. Indeed. Uh, Dominic says, who's going to expo in Birmingham? I do I did say to Dean, uh, uh, the vaping biker, I said, as soon as I come back from France, harass me, hound me, and make sure that I do something about going to Birmingham. But I have decided that I'm not going. I'm definitely not going to Birmingham now. I've made my mind up. I'm not going. Um, I would like to go and catch up with a lot of people, uh, but um, the fact that they just don't have a modders gallery at all uh, just puts me off. But that's me. That's just me. Um, there we go. Holy crap, it's one o'clock. I'm starving. I need a coffee. Thank you to everybody that gave me something to take away from the event. Thank you to everybody that came up and, and, and made it what it was. So much fun. Thank you to you guys for sitting through this and putting up with me. And I just, I'm going to go. I have no idea how I stop this stream. Does anybody know? Did I just click on the big button and just stop? I'll tell you what, I'm just going to click on the stop streaming button and we'll see what happens. Bye for now.